Our Dynamite 2.0, which is a brand new turbo system that we have. Uh, it's a ceramic ball bearing version of our Dynamite Turbo. And if it wasn't for your video, that's the reason why I would have gone to Because you saw the video. Because I saw the video. So we saw two robbery guys. Pretty much. So what have you been up to? Hanging out, jumping. It's a tough life, huh? Not good. Uh, not really. Just to act like it is. How'd you even know my size when you had it made? That's crazy. Um, we can't look at James right now because he hasn't brushed his hair. Don't put it on, on camera. Good to see you. What time will you be here? We're going to do it at 9.30. 9.45. Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Great. Hey, I see you guys on YouTube. I see you guys on YouTube, yeah? Awesome. Randy Hoover reporting live uh, at the scene of the Sandsport Super Show out here in Costa Mesa, California, uh, Dandy Off Road Channel. And I am standing here with Jim Zacone from Evo Power Sports. Um, and I have a question for him. Sir, uh, I'm nervous now. No, just, I mean... I would be too. These cars go really fast, right? Unnecessarily fast, some would say. I mean, how much power do you need, right? And I'm going to ask you a question, like, how do you get away with, like, what? how do you feel, honestly, like, internally about putting horses, so many, in your car? Like, horses? Really? <laughs> well... First of all, it's not about how much do you need. It's about it's about want. Okay? <laughs> Nobody and, needs. <laughs> how many guys need? You know. So and, and honestly, the factory can M on the trails, 200 horsepower is probably too much. But well, I'm, I'm asking now, you though a specific question that you seem to be avoiding. Uh, you're under. What you're about up. the horses? Have you anybody asked the horses how they feel? You said. <laughs> You said horses under the hood, right? I'm a little bit slow, right? So. You said horses under the hood, right? That's what you told me that they do here. Horses? Yes. Horses. Horse horses. Has anybody asked the horses? I mean, and how do you get them in there? I know it's... Well, you might have to ask my daughter. My daughter's a horse person. Oh, she's, she's not going to be happy with you at all. She's a horse person. She's national horse final rodeos. Oh, too, yeah. You know, oh, twice, wow. so, um, you know, uh, she's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're obviously not going to get anywhere with this guy, so we're going to leave. We're going to do a little research on our own, and um, you know, it's it is what it is. So I guess that's it. Thanks right. for talking to awesome. us. Awesome, thank, thank you guys. guys. All right, so we're over here at the Evolution Power Sports. Booth. On time. On time. I just want to get that in there because you always make, try to make. I feel on time because we did walk up and Jim wasn't like waiting for us or anything. So. I, I stopped to pet a dog and all kinds of other things. Oh my God, what's oh. his name? Her name, him? Oh, uh, Ranger. Ranger. Hi, Ranger! Oh. So, anywho, we're here. We're here with Jim. And uh, tell us a little bit about what, first of all, let's start here. This car's bad ass. I'll say it. Booster. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about it? Well, it, okay, so this is a 2021 X3 RR. This was the first X, the first 2021 that we purchased. I think we have three of them now. Because uh, we do a lot of development on the cars, and so we got to have multiple cars. So, so we developed all the tuning for the 21s on this car, and now uh, currently this is actually a big turbo car. So we're going to be releasing a big turbo kit for the 21 in the next couple of weeks. Oh my so. God! So we got to okay. get 21. So this is a 2021, and you can tune it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. Right, you know, so right up until now, it's been only the early model 21s, but we're really close on the late model ones as well. Okay. So, so that should be a big, a big deal for those who want to get their cars tuned and not go all the way to a Motec. Oh yeah. You know, and remind is, me again, what's big turbo? What kind of horsepower? Uh, this is going to be our Dynamite, uh, our Dynamite 2.0, which is a brand new turbo system that we have. All right. All right. Sorry about that. I think we were at Don't ceramic work. ball bearing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The new Dynamite 2.0 is uh, ceramic ball bearing turbo. Charger, a little bit bigger on the compressor side, so it's capable of a lot more power than the previous gen, but uh, and also super durable. So this is Dynamite 2.0. 2.0. Yes. I, heard, I saw something about that the other day. Okay. Yeah. So one of our customers was out in Idaho, uh, Jack Sasaliski. He um, he won the Duner class out there running that new turbo. So turbo works great, high elevation, low elevation, makes a ton of boost on launch control and uh, customers are going to love it. What, uh, what, in case you didn't cover, can you tell me the horsepower per tune on that Dynamite? So, so on the 21, it's going to be a Dynamite 310 initially, <laughs> and then we'll bring, it, we'll bring it up from there. But on all of the previous gen, like the 17 to 20, 
we have tunes up to now 350. Okay, let's say just because we're going to be selfish for here for, for a minute. There's a lot of 17s out there. On a 17, what fuel can you run and what boost? Uh, what uh, horsepower? <laughs> we might be asking for it. <laughs> so what what tunes can you what fuel can you run and what's the horsepower level on a 17? So on the 17 to 20, we have pump gas 110 E85 and, and actually 100 octane as well. Okay, so so we try to tune all the big turbo kits that way because people don't want to run E85 all the time or 110 off. A lot of people want that 91. Exactly. So there is a pump gas option on there. Hear that? Yeah. And what's the horsepower on that? Uh, we have all the way up to 350 with stock cams, and then we actually have a <laughs> we actually have a 390 kit with cams and a rising rate fuel system. Wow. Okay. So wait. So a, a 2017 with 91 Dynamite 2.0 would be what horsepower? Uh, the 91 octane tune. You know, it's going to be a bit more than like our stock injector, like Stage 3R. We didn't. We you know, a lot of some guys. Mostly what the 91 octane tunes are for, because why buy a big turbo if you're gonna run pump? Right, right. Yeah, just so. Curious, yeah. So, yeah, so you're in those guys. Yeah. We 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 maximize the power on 110 and E85. That way, when you want to go racing, you know you got the power. But the but the pump gas tune is more designed to be a trail friendly. Sure. Like let's say you want to let your kid drive the car. Yeah, yeah. Right. You don't want to give happening. them uh, a car right. that's got 300 horsepower. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, so. So, That's the way we design all the big turbo kits. Is is the pump gas? Yeah, I mean it makes it makes good power, but it's not designed to be like your race tune. So yeah. close to a uh, stock injector, stock turbo, three R. Three R. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Which is a good tune. Yeah. That was a solid okay. tune. Okay. So then, uh, uh, what about uh, let's say one hundred up there? What range are we in there? You're in the two eighty range. Um, we'll do it. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know it, it just came right over. And E85 is? Uh, we have up to 350 right now. Okay, okay. Well, if you're going to do, if you're going to do, I mean, 290, might as well do, I mean, 350, you might as well do 390, right? <laughs> We're already doing E85. I mean. We're going to be opening that motor. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's a 390 kit. You got to do pistons and rods. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we got to do pistons and rods. <laughs> we like to, hey, part of our All thing right. is that we wrench on things. So, um. Code shooter. Let me turn this car. We have this car set up as a dump. And we have lots of video on our channel already of the code shooter, so anything All that. Uh, you know what? Any let questions? me tell you something. One of my favorite parts was that we were sitting, it's 110 degrees outside, cars on the trailer behind us. And we just tuned it from the front seat of the truck in air know. conditioning. It's I'm like, so it's cool. all about you. <laughs> so, so we have this mounted on the display, right? Obviously, the code shooter's in this car. So we connect to the code shooter. Um, and now we can, you know, program this car. Uh, all of the files for this car, you know, get downloaded from the server. So once it connects, you'll see that the tunes all pop up. So oh, here's yeah. all the available tunes. You can scroll through them. So let's just say we want to do like a, a Stage 3R um, 91 octane tune. It'll list all of the hardware oh, requirements okay. for it. Tell you. Okay. Um, and then. Um, so we can we can program the car right from here you know go for it yeah, yeah. so now what it's doing is pulling the tune off of our server yeah. it will bring it to the device and then it will flash on its own so once once this is done uh, downloading you can actually take your phone go walk away from the vehicle the tune is actually stored on the device and then gets flashed to the car it's like some kind of crazy witchcraft <laughs> you know what i mean oh so you mean as okay yeah, so, so it's right transferring now, now, it's transferring the file to, to the, the code shooter wirelessly. Okay. Now the other cool thing about code shooter is this is like this is the this is going to be a continuously evolving product. Okay. So right now you can do this. It's got the adjustable launch control, which is cool. Now we're getting ready to try that one out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the other great thing about it is the the data logging that we have coming out is amazing right so so what will happen is customer will be able to do data logging as soon as they they press record and then stop it will the file will get transferred to our server and then i'll get an email that somebody's done did you hear that i've been wondering about that <laughs> because we were just looking at a buddy's car for that 2016 turbo and we were hoping to get some data logging that it's not storing codes but anyway i'm gonna get sidetracked that's yeah. awesome so that that's, is so freaking awesome that's this coming uh, the other thing that's coming is um, we're going to have a gauge pad. 
Okay, so so a lot Ooh. of right now, you know, with a lot of devices, you know, you, you're you're just looking at numbers on the screen. Yeah. Okay. So here, come around this side. And I'll show you. You'll be able to configure your phone to have oh, gauges man. like this, to where you your can phone. display. Exactly. So phone, you iPad. So you, okay, so you can get an iPad, throw it up there. Exactly. Oh, man. So now you're going to be able to see, you know, a gauge pack like this, which is a lot more useful information. You should get one of them co-shooter things. Wait a minute. <laughs> that would be, Wait that a is minute. amazing. Speaking of Motec, though. What's that all about? <laughs> so, so it's it's amazing how the industry has evolved. Like you know, from you know, 200 horsepower was a big deal back in 17. Oh, yeah. Then it was 318, 419. You know, now it's five, six, seven hundred horsepower that yeah. people want, or a lot. Some people want. So, um, when we get over the 400 horsepower range, it's it's a different level of tuning that we have to do because. You know, when we're going to run a car that was designed to make 200 horsepower at like 500 horsepower, we want to be able to monitor certain things a little bit more carefully, okay? Like coolant pressure, uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure, because any one of those things um, that that is out of spec can can burn the engine down. Like it's that. an indicator immediately. You got another Correct. problem. Yep. So low buy or something you don't want. And, and we've done a lot of 420 kits with the stock ECU, which is. You know, I think those are the highest horsepower stock ECU tunes available anywhere. But for guys that really want to get on the edge yeah. and be competitive in racing, we do the Motec system. So, the Motec is, uh, is how does that tie in with Evo? That's your product? Yeah, so, so, so we buy um, a lot of our Motec products. Most of it comes from uh, Marian Pavlik from Motec Middle East. Okay. Um, you know, he's a good friend of ours, a great, great supplier of ours. Um, we do buy some of the sensors from Motec USA, uh, but uh, all of the configurations we do internally. Like these, these gauge packs are all ours. We design them, and, and for a customer that really wants to, you know, like the, he just wants it the way he wants it. We can customize. I can put customer's picture here with a smile on his oh, face wow. if he wants it. Wow. Uh, you know. Oh, you can. Yes. Yeah. You know, we can configure these gauges any way we want. Uh, we have a number of skins that we've already custom designed, so if a customer has a certain look that he wants, we have a number to choose from, but if he really wants it the way he wants it, we can absolutely customize it that way. Yeah. You guys have always been on the cutting edge for a long time. We talked to you back in 2017, I want to say, 18, 17? 18? I think it was 17. I think so too. And it's Oklahoma? like, yeah, no, no that was in uh, Laughlin. Laughlin, Nevada. Well, uh, <laughs> and true. we were, and we went up and talked to you, and like you were guys were releasing, uh, what we're talking about, like a. Uh, You're working on 400 horsepower. Yep, yeah, working on exactly. 400 horse, yeah. and it hadn't come out yet. It's surprising to me sometimes that you know how. I mean, we're very, you know, we work hard, but we're very fortunate in the sense that, you know, we we got into this, you know, 12 years ago or 11 years ago. Um, and we had no idea that side by sides were going to blow up. No, this way. it's crazy. But we, we love, you know, we're passionate about off road. We're passionate about snowmobiles, and you know, people like what we're doing. So we just kept going, and it's turned into this, which is well, really a blessing. I was going to ask you how you got started. So I mean, basically, you're telling me that you go to work every day doing just what you love to do. Like yeah. some people work so that they can go out and live, and you, your life and work are all are just one giant cohesive happy bubble well let, let's not let's not let's not be crazy we, let's not get crazy yeah. okay, we, we work we work really hard oh, you guys, yeah. we've done a lot of we've sacrificed a lot but we're in an industry that we love with people like-minded people you know out outdoor enthusiasts adventurous I mean that that's what I've always been and and that's the greatest thing about this community is that you know people in general that's their mentality they, they, they want to go out they want to have a good time they want to go out with their family out with the guys you know, I've seen girls go out together. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's amazing. Well, and you've chosen to be a part of, you know, and growing the industry. Like, you've been a key player, I think, in kind of just getting it out there. Like, it's side by sides, right? The stuff that they're capable of, people don't call them golf carts anymore. <laughs> we don't get made fun but of. that's where it started. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so in Phoenix, um, one of my good buddies that, that actually passed away last year, they, um, they started riding golf carts out, you know, up toward Four Peaks and, you know, going out, you know, I remember seeing them in Dumont and Glamis and stuff. So. And then it went over to, like, the, the Rangers and, right? Well, like, then it was the Rhino. The, yeah, rhino, the rhino. That's yeah. what Dean had, huh? Well, and the other thing, too, I want to, you know, 
We have an amazing group of employees that work for us, amazing group. I mean, they're all passionate about the industry. They all are hard workers. We don't have any slackers at, at Evolution Power Sports. So. How, how many people are on your team now? Uh, we have 41 employees. Wow. Nice. Wow. <laughs> you well, how many employees were you at, do you remember, back in 17? Five. Five. You hear that? And what, uh, what would you say is your role, uh, your, your and Todd's roles in, in, in this whole thing? So, so I run the day-to-day -day operations in Wisconsin. Uh, Todd was involved in, you know, Todd's, Todd and I are half owners. Right. He, 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 we each own 50%. Todd, for the last couple of years, has been involved in Code Shooter, um, which has been an, an amazing, amazingly difficult project, but a good project. Um, I can only imagine. Now that that's done, he, um, he's doing R&D again, which is a great thing for us. Uh, that's you know, a great thing for all of us, because what is his brain going to come up with? What are we going to see exactly. like, in the next yep. two years? Oh, my brother does a great job with R&D. He's got a great mind for, for different products. And uh, yeah, and so that that's going to, um, you know, those dividends are going to pay off in the next couple of months with, with new stuff that we have coming out. I'm, so. I'm super excited, and I think we're getting, uh, we're going to move on to some different kinds of tuning. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, we had to switch to not quite as a good, not quite as good of a camera. Jim was discussing uh, his role and Todd's role, and they're equal partners, 50-50. Yep. Uh, Todd's more of the tuner. You are the day-to-day -day operator. Right now. So we actually both tune for the company. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. So Todd. Uh, Todd does a lot of the upfront development. Uh, most of the big turbo stuff I do. Uh, oh wow! Yeah. So you're the guy too. Well, we, we're we're both the guys, I guess. Yeah. Well, and no. I want to make sure, if it, in case it got cut off, but like yeah. you know, our employees are amazing. They're passionate people. They're good. They're amazing workers. Um, the crew that flew out yesterday, they they uh, left at two o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. They had to take two flights to get out here. They dropped their bags off and then they came right to the show and worked until 10 o'clock last night. Yeah, awesome. I'm super excited. Me too. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's great to see you guys as always. Great to good see to you. see you. Oh, good to see you.